Hi, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, along with the coach, and welcome to this week's show. We'll take a uh, look back at that uh, nightmare down in Tucson as the Wildcats prevail over the Ducks. We'll take a look ahead at next week's game. It pr is going to be a very pivotal game as far as postseason aspirations are concerned for both teams, and uh, we'll have a lot more for you coming up in the show. Coach, uh, it was a game that uh, going into it, it looked like two evenly matched teams, two teams that uh, had some offense, two teams that had played good defense recently, two good special teams, but it was Arizona that came out in probably each one of those phases of the game. Uh, no question. They played a great football game. Uh, they were healthy and we were not, and that's no excuse. They played a great football game. We hung with them in the first half. Our defense played very, very well, despite the fact that we committed three turnovers on offense. Second half, though, when we needed something to get back in the game, we didn't get it. Uh, they had some big plays offensively, busted a long run, I think, in the first series coming out. Uh, got a quarterback scramble, set up a second score. Uh, I think we got tired on defense. We missed some tackles, and I, I was not very happy about that. I know our kids aren't either. But that happens when you're on the field more and you, and you lose a little faith, lose a little hope. Special teams-wise, uh, we made some plays, we missed some plays. And a, a big uh, punt return early, I think, uh, set them up for that uh, second field goal. When we're down at halftime, 10-3, to 3, I really thought, one, we're, we're fortunate to be at that point. We're still in the game, but we needed the spark. We needed something to break in the second half to turn the thing around, and we didn't get it. It was actually Arizona that got the spark to start the third quarter with the run by Trunk Candidate. And their ground game uh, in that second half, I thought, was the difference in the football game because they were persistent and they also got some big plays. Yeah, th they're very willing to pound you if they get a lead. We knew that going in. Uh, the unfortunate thing was uh, they busted the big plays. I, I, they ha we made some plays. We stopped them a couple times. We had them in our grasp. Uh, other than the one long run by Trunk Candidate, the one where he was untouched, every other play, we had people in position to make tackles, didn't do it. Um, that was frustrating probably for everybody. Uh, again, give credit to Arizona. They played very well. Uh, we did not. Uh, we weren't healthy and uh, unfortunately probably have a couple kids sort of banged up from that game. But we've got to regroup and get back on track, uh, have a chance at this point to get that notch, that seventh victory, which is very, very important because six is bowl eligible, but seven gets you somewhere. Offensively, uh, the offense has struggled. Akili mm. didn't obviously have his best night, but then again, he didn't have a lot of help. The running game wasn't what uh, I know you wanted it to be going in. Well, they're a very good defense. They're number one defense in the conference. We talked about that. They didn't get there by accident. <laughs> they have great defensive tradition. They do a lot of unconventional things that create problems for your protection and your running game. Uh, early on, I thought we had good blocking up front. I, I really thought we had some holes, and we just were a step short or half a man at times. Uh, guard would trip or something like that or a back couldn't quite get there as the game wore on and the score differential changed we couldn't really do it as much uh, our protection was not that good either we were close on several plays both just balls just overthrown uh, first uh, pass intercepted that that uh, Achille put up for Griff go to your best player unfortunately their best player made a great play Chris McAllister on the interception so Couple things we needed to stay with the run, I think, to keep them honest. Uh, didn't get as much as we needed from it, and as a result, had to throw in, in, in situations where everybody knew we were going to have to throw. Now you're at a, at a situation, a stage where you go into the month of November, which has been a good month for you and your teams in recent uh, years. Only one loss in the last couple of years, uh, but the difference might be health wise, maybe not as healthy as in years past. Well, and, th and that could be a problem. November has been good to us. Uh, they say the games you remember are played in November, and I, obviously I want that to be the case from a positive note. Uh, for us to control our own destiny, we have to have a great November, and I I'm sort of looking forward to it. We we've struggled sometimes in October. I think also we have a chance to get some people back. Uh, Herman Ho Ching, Marco Aguirre, Kevin Parker, I think those guys all may be back within the next week or two, and that'll be great because in addition to the lack of, of uh, a running back with maybe the, the breakaway speed that we have in those three guys, uh, Ruben Drones, Herman Oche, and Kevin Parker, to get the line back to a settled position where we get Michael Clues back to right guard, I think bring in Marco, who's been our, our guy at left tackle for two years now, would help. Again, I don't know if we're going to have him, though, so we've got to go with what we've got. Our kids have to step up and be ready to put this behind them. The one thing I talked about is Arizona got us. They played great football. We didn't play great football, so it wasn't close. All right, we'll uh, take a look at the highlights momentarily. Check out the Pac-10 scoreboard as we now enter November when the championships are won. USC defeated Washington 33-10. to we'll, we'll have more on the Huskies who visit Autzen Stadium this week later on in the program. California rallied from behind to defeat Oregon State 20-19. to Oregon State will host UCLA this week at Parker Stadium. Arizona State uh, may be beginning to uh, find themselves offensively, putting some things together, back-to-back -to -back wins over Stanford and Washington State. 
Speaking of Stanford, they really gave UCLA a scare. They led most of the ball game, but the Bruins came from behind to win in the fourth quarter, 28 to 24. All right, let's set uh, the scene for the game down in Tucson. The Ducks uh, once again getting the football to start the game. First and 10 from the 35 after the kickoff went out of bounds. We'll go with a quick pass to Tony Hartley. Does a nice job, nice throw by Keeling, good protection. And, and probably at, at, in retrospect, we could have done this and should have done this more, but they were pressing and bumping a lot at the line of scrimmage. Uh, Darren Latimer for the first down there, short yardage play. And again, we, we didn't sustain blocks as well at the line. C give credit to Arizona's defensive front. They move around a lot. Nice job, Bobby Nero here, run, run after catch. And again, Bobby's coming on. We need to involve him more in the game plan as we keep going here. Little play action pass, and this was again, Achilles steps up, has a chance, puts it up for Damon. Again, great uh, interception by Chris McAllister, unfortunately. We come away with no points, and we moved the ball down pretty good. Got a couple first downs, but great play by a great player. He's one of those guys that really can affect the game plan, can't he? Yes, he can, and he can take it in his own hands. Good job here, Dietrich Moore, uh, combining with uh, Chevy or Vandy at the bottom of the pile in the tackle. Uh, nice job, Michael Fletcher coming from the backside. We're pressuring here. Good coverage down the field. Michael gets the big sack. This was a blitz situation. We're bringing Michael off the edge. They're running play action. We're filling it. Michael just keeps working because he's blocked initially, keeps coming off the backside. Great coverage down the field. Nice swipe, tries to get that ball out, but again, gets Keith, Keith Smith down. So it's a second and long. They uh, try to keep it on the ground here. A little stretch play. They only get two. Nice job, Nathan Nagy. Uh, Chevron, Rashad Bowman, stretching it out there, coming in, excited. We're, we're pretty fired up to start this game. Obviously, a big game with a lot of implications, and that sustained us through the first half. The frustrating part might have been Arizona was 6 of 14 on third down, but it seemed like every one of those third down conversions was third and 10. Was, was big, or third and more, actually. Yeah. That was a shame. Nice job. Michael Fletcher just comes up, unassisted tackle on Kelvin Ephon, who's there, real good power back. Nice job. We're moving around here. Chevy coming over. Michael comes off the edge. Uh, great tackle. So no gain there, but on second and 15. Again, this is too much time to throw. We finally get pressure. Came back. Again, we missed three tackles right here. And uh, this is unfortunate. We let them get in the end zone. Uh, we didn't get the pressure we needed. We got caught in one-on-one -on -one coverage and then missed three tackles. You can't do that against a good football team. So the Wildcats, with the point after, take the early lead, seven to nothing, on their first drive of the night. We let them get that long third down conversion, which which was frustrating a little bit because we played good defense up to that point. Come back, nice scramble here by Akili. Gets a little pressure, bounces out the backside. This is sort of a waggle pass. Real nice job getting positive yardage uh, on the scramble. And again, this, this is going to happen against Arizona because they bring some people inside the option. Darian, outside, get the first down. We, needed, we knew we needed to keep the option in to keep them honest, utilize that because the, the, the way they aligned for us. Unfortunately, on a third and five play here, the Cats come with that pressure and sack Achille. And that sets up a, a very pivotal play in this game, I thought. It was the punt return because, again, your uh, team was in good position to defend this, but Northcutt uh, is just an outstanding athlete. No question. We have one shot at him right there. We've got him right there, and, and he ricochets out the backside. And when, when they see him in the grass, our guys narrowed down their focus. We didn't keep the same lanes. Great job by Josh Bidwell here to stop him. Northcutt is an exceptional punt returner and exceptional receiver. And your defense uh, does a good job in this situation, holding them to a three-point field goal. No question. They've got... Uh, Nice job there by Fletcher and Edwards, but down that deep to hold them to a field goal is a tremendous job by the defense. Here we go, Vandy coming under uh, on the power play. Nice job inside. And uh, not only do you make a good defensive play here, but Arizona was called for a clip right sure. there. Yeah. So nice play all the way around. Should have been called for a hold. I'll take the clip. They did both, uh, which was a big penalty, 15 yards from the spot. So it, it got them way back. So now it's... Well, it was second and 28. They got about 16 yards, and this is a third and 12, and another good play by Eric Edwards. Yeah, great job. Great coverage right there. Knocks the ball down. Super job by Eric, because he had a lot of time to throw on that one. Force a field goal attempt, which is good. And so, again, the defense, after the long punt return, really does a nice job keeping out of the end zone. So you can see late in the first quarter, 10 to nothing. Now the Ducks trying to get something going, and 
doing it on the strength of Achilles arm. A little half roll finds Donald Haynes out here. They were trying really hard to take grip away and, and as such we created an opening for Donald a couple times when we crossed the two. He would come open on the outside. Nice job of run after catch. Nice protection here. Keeley's able to set his feet. Hits Donald right on the run. And uh, Donald, good job. Little shake there. Get some more yards after the catch. A gain of 13. I end on the final play of the first quarter from the 37. The play action pass. It's Tony Hartley on the outside. Nice job, Tone. Just can't quite keep his feet there, but real nice protection again. You see this from the ground angle. He comes out, play fake. Real nice protection up inside. Set his feet a lot of time. Tony's one on one on the outside. That play action fake holds the inside underneath coverage and uh, almost gets through there. So that was the final play of the first quarter. It is Arizona that leads after the first 15 minutes of play, but Oregon has the football and is trying to mount a drive and get some points as we begin the second period. We'll have that and the rest of the highlights coming up. As we begin the second quarter of play, Arizona has the lead. It is 10 to nothing, but the Ducks have the football. In fact, as we pick it up, they've got it in Arizona territory at the 43-yard line, first and 10. This is a little play outside. Uh, we pull a guard. Nice job. He gets hung up a little bit and looked like there was more room. Darien hits it outside. Uh, our guard got hung up. Could have kept coming on that outside. We thought there was more room out there. Didn't get as much as we'd like. Uh, little toss here, just close again. Uh, we hung the ball a little bit too long. Darien couldn't quite handle it. Maybe it's a good thing because the defensive back was coming up real hard. So fourth and seven. Nice job here by Josh Bidwell pinning Arizona deep. Yeah, this was awesome. What a great kick. He downed inside about the three-yard line. Uh, perfect punt. And we had been trying those to let the people catch him. We hadn't got him, so we said, just kick it out of bounds. Real nice job here up inside. Uh, Matt Smith, I believe. Again, we got so many nines in there. I keep saying this, but uh, those linebackers, uh, and you sort of see, we stacked this up very well. Yeah, it is Matt Smith. This is, I thought, coming over the top of the pile, hanging on. A couple guys coming in to finish the job. So on the third and nine as we pick it up, another good job by the defense here, forcing Arizona now to punt the football yeah. deep in their own territory. You know you're going to get good field position. Yeah, this was big. That was a great series down there to hold them, get the ball back in good field position, across the 50 now. Nice job, Darian. Good power running there, three to four yards of carry. And again, we, we got more on that one. We kept hoping we'd break some there. That's a big thing. Sprint out. Again, unfortunately, we screw up our blocking. Two backs there, and Achilles frustrated by that, and he should be. We just didn't uh, communicate very well on that protection. So now the ball at the 40-yard line, and first uh, Josh pins him deep with an, an angle kick, and this one he just flat out got all of 60 yards on the fly. Yeah, I can't, I couldn't quibble with that one because uh, we, we tried to kick it directionally. He did a little bit, just got too much of it, and that's okay. Uh, nice job by Vandy. They had had some pre-shift. They shifted a lot, and that was a pre-shift formation where they were lined up and just tossed the ball out there. Vandy did a nice job of reading it, come under, made the tackle. Good pressure here and a sack. Great pressure. And again, one of the things, Ortiz Jenkins now in at quarterback is a great, great runner, very scary. And our guys did a great job here. I don't know if this is a planned run or we just had great coverage. There's Dietrich Moore coming off the edge. Real nice job. Anthony Martin right there finishing the uh, tackle inside. They rotate quarterbacks. Uh, obviously, Keith Smith started the game. Jenkins comes in in the second quarter. And again, you know, good defense here, and you force another punt. Yeah, great job. Michael Fletcher again coming under. Vandy holding it up right there. Michael coming in unblocked. Great tackle. And as I said, our defense played extremely well in the first half. We just got worn down a little bit. Here, nice job. Uh, Dietrich Moore coming outside in. Or excuse me, inside out. Makes the tackle. Kamani's right there. Big, big play. Third one, just great effort there. One after the other. Uh, and I can't tell. Chevy, I think, does a great job. Saul Patu comes in there. A great job by Leah Sualu at the bottom of the pile, really, to stack it up. And then it's just a bunch of guys fighting to get to the football. So that this is three straight uh, defensive stands where the uh, defense goes three and out. Now you get it back, trying to get some points on the board. Little uh, play pass here to Tony Hartley. Again, nice protection up inside. We need to do this to freeze their linebackers. They're very mobile, have great team speed. Tony one on one on the outside. Nice job here. Uh, rolls for about a yard or two after the catch. 
So now a second down play here. Same thing again. That same idea would get the ball to Donald Haynes. Again, they were so conscious of Griff uh, that it freed up Donald on the outside. We're going to half roll with the pocket here. Move it. Real nice protection. You can see they're bringing a lot of folks from the outside. And we're getting rid of it quickly. Nice job one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Make the guy miss by Donald Haynes. Pull through that tackle. Get up the field. And Donald, good job one-on-one. -on -one. He's, he's one of the quicker guys we have in those situations we want to utilize in that way. Darian again, good power running up inside, four to five yards of carry at this point. And one of the things about Arizona's defense, they're, they're coming so hard, sometimes if you pop when you get a lot, you go a long way. Nice job again. Griff here makes a little move on McAllister. I think you wanted to show him that he still had that in him. Uh, again, nice protection. Sprint out of the pocket. Griff has time to work. Akili, very nice throw and catch. And Griff one-on-one -on -one out here. Makes the move, the shake. It's passing for a couple more yards. Just gets pushed out of bounds. The only catch of the night for Griff as he gets 13 on that play. And a big play here. You're in position to get some points, and uh, they just make a nice read. Yeah, unfortunately, they had, we had got pressure right in Akili's face. He tried to release the ball. It was thrown slightly behind our receiver. Their free safety makes a great break on the ball. He was sitting there, uh, and it's tough because it takes us out of some type of field goal range and or scoring territory. But again, the defense does its job yeah. out around midfield. Nice job. Again, Eric Edwards recovers, slaps the ball away. Uh, that's McDaniel, who has great speed for them. Here we get pressure, Zach Frieder. Uh, nice job of coming up, fighting through the block. You see from this angle, ball just slightly underthrown. Eric recovers, knocks it out. Great job of putting his hands through the receiver's hand. It's also nice to see Zach Freider get in the, the game. He ended up getting involved in a sack later on. And now we're late in the first half, and you get something going that results in points. Yeah, again, they're in Latimer. Bus system for 13 to 14 yards. The same idea as I talked about, the zone concept. Do a nice job of getting past the first wave. And once you do with Arizona, you're, you're to the safety. So that's a gain of 12 yards, let's call it. And a first down, now a little rollout. A little play action. Hit Jed Weaver on the crossing route. Again, we're, I think at this point, uh, I'm not sure if we're in our no huddle or not. We're trying to use the clock a little bit. Wanted to get some points on the board, but not let them have any time left at the end of the half. Nice job, Vic Keeley stepping up. See the counter fake. Uh, Jed coming across underneath hit him and he just steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Now you get a big play on this one here. Good protection. A lot of time to throw and a nice route and a good catch. Yeah, again, going to Tony. We got one on one on the outside. We've thrown some routes earlier there. Underneath coverage had got underneath the out route. So we decided we needed to go deeper with either the post or the corner route. Real nice. Both receivers own great protection here. Keeley puts it right on the money to Tony. And big gain. And again, uh, good field position. Keep this drive going. Gain of 30. And another first down. So the screen here, they actually read this very well, but Jed Weaver on sheer effort and resolve makes six or seven yards on the play. Drags their defender that far. Second and three. Again, nice job getting through. First down now, stop the clock. Again, we're letting the clock run down here. I think there was 50 seconds or something like that. Keeley on the option, cuts it up. Nice job. Met there by their free safety. Did a nice job. He and Marcus Bell, their inside linebacker, did a great job all day long of, of stopping Keeley on the option. Third and eight, and boy, this yeah. is one where, wow, just close. He could have stayed on his feet. Too bad. Unfortunately, the drive stalls. Nathan Villegas comes in and extends his school record to 13 consecutive field goals. Of course, one in this game. Yeah, it was a big play. That that last play, those one of those was close and would have probably made a big difference in the game. We didn't get it. Didn't make the catch. Nevertheless, the Ducks are right in this football game thanks to a great defensive effort in the first half. Remember, one of Arizona's uh, scoring uh, drives was a short drive after a punt return. So it's 10 to 3. Arizona at the intermission. We'll have the third quarter highlights when we come back. Into the fourth quarter we go. Arizona's got the lead at 24 to 3. And as we pick up the fourth quarter highlights, Arizona has the football inside the five yard line. Remember the nice play on first down, but this time the Ducks unable to deny Calvin Efon the touchdown from four yards out. And the Cats extend their lead with a point after to 31 to 3. 
Yeah, and that, that's a nice run by Eflon. We had some people there. We, we knew that they were going to run the counter because that's their favorite play, but they, they got stronger with it as the game went on. They really seemed uh, determined to run that play and stay with it. Here it is again. Again, we have some people there. Give credit to Kennedy. Uses his blockers very, very well. Uh, nice job by Rashad Bowman right here and Tamani Joyner to come back. Justin Wilcox stopped this play from being a touchdown, but we've got to stop those plays before they get started here again. Unfortunately, we miss a tackle. Um, Efon is in for the touchdown, the same play that we talked about. Uh, they're going to run it, and again, we at that point need to step up a little bit. So the final points of the night are put on the board by the Cats. Uh, we pick it up again. Arizona has the ball as uh, the Ducks were unable to move it. This was uh, pass interference, and then Tony Hartley, great play because the free safety is trying to take him out, went the other way around. Tony is a strong receiver, great hands, and uh, we get the interference call, which happened prior to that contact. Tony's going to join us a little bit later in the studio. We'll actually take a look at the low angle play on that one and get his comments. Great job. I believe that was Dietrich Moore on the outside. Rashad Bowman finally getting him down. Uh, so I got the banged up here. Took a blow to the head, and he gets up, and he doesn't quite have his legs all the way underneath him. He's just trying to figure out which sideline is ours. and uh, Which way is up. Yeah. He took that shot, uh, went low, and got kicked in the helmet. Uh, I'll tell you what. That's legs one are a little rubbery, that's true. <laughs> that's one tough guy, though. I mean, he makes a lot of plays on the corner there yeah. coming up in run defense. Yeah, absolutely. No fear. So now they're going to try to get... Jenkins a little time to throw the ball. You know, he, he hasn't played that much in this game, and uh, the defense won't let it happen. Great open field tackle there by Dietrich Moore. First of all, it's uh, Terry Miller keeps him in the pocket, does a great job of containing. Uh, that right there comes up, forces him back. You see there's Masai and uh, the whole crew coming back across. He can reverse field, but great open field tackle by Dietrich. They keep coming back to that because Ortiz is very dangerous on the run. Not to mention the fact that at this point, Dietrich Moore has a very severe thumb injury. Yeah. And this is a sack combining by Saul Patu and Zach Freider. Glad to have uh, Zach in there getting some playing time. Yeah, he had a severe laceration, which required stitches, dislocated his thumb early in the game, about the first mm -hmm. play. Here we get the ball back. Real nice job by Jason Moss. This is a great scramble, which not only got a first down, but I think was our biggest uh, gain of the day in terms of the ground game. Had a pass going, uh, get a little pressure from the outside. Jason comes up, does a real nice job cutting back right there behind the block of Donald Haynes and gets a first down. Jason will be the subject of our senior feature later in the program. Nice throw here, hits Jed Weaver on the sideline. Jed pulls through, uh, just slightly short of the first down, knee touchdown. Get the first down to Darian here. And again, we are in no huddle now, trying to get something going. Nice job, hit Tony Hartley. Makes two guys miss, three guys miss. Uh, gets down, uh, now I think we're down inside the 20-yard line, knocking on the door. This is a quick series pass, real nice job of protection. Jason delivers the ball on time, hits Tony in the numbers, which is good. You want to keep it within the frame of his body so he can protect himself. Nice run after catch right here. Tries to pull through that last one. Nice gain, 30 yards and a first down. And as you mentioned, you are inside the 20, so you trying to get a touchdown in this situation. Coming underneath, uh, they gang tackle Donald Haynes, do a nice job of defending that play. And then on a fourth down and nine play, staining the field goal, going for the touchdown. The ball is deflected just a little bit yeah. behind and incomplete. That was the last real opportunity. Both teams had the ball a couple of more times, but uh, this game is over. 38 to three was the final score. Arizona off to its best start ever. The Ducks dropped to six and two overall. Taking a look at the numbers, uh, you scratch your head a little bit there on the first downs, but as you mentioned, coach, uh, 12 of those in the first half. The rushing disparity, the difference, uh, Arizona State with a good night on the ground and the total offense, the lowest of the year for the Ducks, Arizona at 442. Flip the card and the turnovers continues to be a bugaboo. Three, Arizona did not commit one at all. Penalties, a uh, pretty good job there. Punts, uh, Bidwell uh, with the big 60 yarder to help that average and third down conversions. You can see three of 13, and Arizona had five third-down conversions in the third quarter alone when the game really got out of hand. 
Individually, first of all, we start with the rushing totals. Darian Latimer leading the way for the Ducks. A trunk candidate, 180 for Arizona. Throwing the football, Keeley Smith had uh, his toughest outing of the year. First time this season he has not thrown for a touchdown pass. Two interceptions as well. Keith Smith, who uh, might be number one guy in the league in passing efficiency now, I think. He's been right up there throughout his entire career, really. And then in the receiving department, Tony leading the way, 6 for 11 Donald Haynes, 5 for 48 his uh, best uh, performance statistically of the season. And Dennis Northcutt, 4 for 50 for the Cats. Defensively, uh, spread it around. Bowman, 7. Vanderveer, 7-2 behind the line of scrimmage. And Saul Pot, 2 with three tackles behind the line of scrimmage as well. So the victory for Arizona, the Ducks now trying to rebound as they host the Washington Huskies this week. More on that game later on in the program. Tony Hartley will join us as well. And when we come back, we'll talk about some guys that uh, do a lot of the behind the scenes work for the coaching staff. We're talking about the graduate assistants. That story and more in a moment. Two teams that, uh, frankly, don't like each other meet this week at Hudson Stadium, the Ducks and the Huskies, a long, bitter uh, series. The Ducks have won three of the last four. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of Washington against USC. Brock Hewitt is back after a slight shoulder separation, and they are throwing the ball a lot this year. He threw 62 passes in this game. Yeah, they've gone away from the run. I think they feel they're going to put the ball in Brock's hands. <clears throat> Does a great job here throwing off balance, great catch in the end zone. They did get a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups, spread you out, Jurgens, Looker, and their backup quarterback, and he does a great job too when he's in there. They run him more, but here again is Brock uh, throwing outside. I think that is Jaworin Hooker right there, I believe. And they have great speed uh, at the wide receiver position. They spread you out, do a lot like Washington State, really. And defensively, they lead the Pac-10 in sacks. Yeah, they come after you. They had 13 sacks in two games in a row, if I remember right. And their defense always is a pressure defense. We've got to be prepared for that. Big, big game. The implications are, are huge for both teams. And uh, we understand uh, we have just received word that the Ducks and the Huskies, 12.30 starting time. So uh, get to the uh, ballpark a little bit early. Uh, big game, and I know you want to rebound after what happened this past week. Yeah, this is a great rivalry. We need to come back, get ourselves back in the bowl race, get that seventh step, which is what we need to do, and, uh, and play well just for our own uh, peace of mind. All righty, we'll have all the highlights for you next week. The Ducks and the Huskies ought to be a dandy at Autzen Stadium. Until then, for the coach, I'm Todd McKim. Thanks for joining us. Have a good week, everybody.